in this video we will be uploading stories and we will be also showing the story to different user so without any further ado if you are new here kindly subscribe if you are not following me over to my instagram you are missing it out kindly follow me there as well and let's get started so first thing first we need to design the database of our stories so let's do that thing so first of all what i'll do under my bucket folder as you can see i have got my database under database i have got uh, entities for post and user i will be creating a new entity for story so here i will be calling it story so let's have it story entity dot ts just like this and it will be our new entity so first of all let's have a new decoration to it which will be entity itself so here i will be calling this entity to be to be story itself so here i can call it a new table name to be a story yes we define a table name under the curly braces not curly but under the quotes so here i will be calling here a new export class so here let's name it class to be story entity and this thing will, will be extending with base entity so here i will be calling it to be a base entity right so first of all uh, under any of our entity we will require a primary generated column so here i will be having a primary generated column I will be calling it to be a story ID. With the help of this ID, we will be like manipulating our entire data of the story. So here, this thing will be a number. So here, let's call it to be a number. After this, I will be requiring other things. So for now, we will be only uploading all the photos. So here, I will be calling here a new column, which will be regarding for all the array of photos. So here, I will be declaring a new array. So here, let's have here a new type to be a simple array, uh, just like this. And here it will not be null so i'll say nullable to be false just like this and here i'll be saying story assets which will be an array so here i'll be calling an array of string because eventually the all of the images will be stored under our cloudinary and it will be giving us a url so for that purpose we'll be calling it to be a string of array after this we'll be requiring other things as well now here i'll be calling here a new entity called as a time so that we need to show the user about how much time the story has passed on so here I will be declaring here a new column. The column will be of type of timestamp. So here I will say timestamp, just like this. It will be having some default values. So under default values, we can throw here a new function. And here it will be calling here a current timestamp. So here I will say current, all right, you should be having a proper, spe proper spelling. So here it will be having a timestamp. And it will be having a decorator of six, just like this. And after this, I will be having a nullable property to be false, yes and when this is done i will be saying this thing to be a story time which will not be null but it will be a type of date just like this now these are all the primary things of our table of story after this we will be requiring some other things which will be known as story reactions so here what we will be doing we will be creating a different table for all the reactions because reaction will be having some different data so it is more beneficial to have a different database not different database but a different uh, collection but before that we also need to connect the following story with the user who has uploaded it so for that purpose i will be calling here my user entity so here i will be declaring a many to one relation or uh, there will be a many stories for a single user that is a single user can upload multiple stories and under many to one i will be regarding this thing to be our user entity that we have declared just like this and after that we will be having here a join column thing that is our uh, foreign key to be a user entity just like this it will be an yeah just like this and here we will need to also need to connect them so i'll say story all right so let's call it to be a story user my bad so here i'll be calling my story use that is i will be copying my story user pasting it here and i will be collecting it my second table that is my user stories so once this thing is done we need to also modify our users table so here we have got a table that is a connection of user post so here what i'll do i'll copy the entire thing and paste it one more time but under this case it will be for all the stories so I'll say story entity just like this. It will be also having the same thing that is a story entity and also a store user story just like this. And now the user story will be connected with our stories. So I'll say uh, story user just like this. And similarly, we can do the same thing here. So I'll say user story, not post, but a user story. So in this way both of the tables are connected and we are now able to upload the stories which are which will be connected with a user right now what i'll do i'll be creating a new repo so i'll say a new repo for story dot repository dot ts type script and what i'll do i'll copy some boilerplate code and paste it here yeah so we don't require all of these methods so we can delete them fetch post we don't require that so what i'll do first of all i'll be modifying this entire class it will be from story entity similarly uh 
abstraction that is the extension of story entity and it will be having a repo name to be story repo right so it will be calling here a new story uh, method that is add story it will be requiring a user email but not all of these fields what i'll do here i'll be requiring different fields so it is better that we can copy the same names of the stories right so we'll be requiring only story assets for now because the following thing of story time is auto generated and the story user is nothing but a foreign key right so it will be from our response body that is request dot body what i'll do uh, instead of having a post entity i will be calling here the story entity right and i will be calling this to be a story entity as well right so here i'll be removing this stuff and i'll say story entity dot story user should be equal to a user right because we have we have been already like fetching the particular user with the help of find one method after that i'll say let uh all right not let but here i'll say the story assets so i'll say story dot story assets are equal to the story asset that user will be providing to us so i'll say story assets just like this now what i'll do i'll copy the story entity and simply paste it here so it will be saving our data yeah so this will be our entire method here we are simply awaiting for the story entity to be entity to be save our entire data when this thing is saved then we are passing some data if data is not undefined that means we are getting some data we are sending some response else in the case of error we are console logging the error and also sending a different response right now we also need to add a different methods here so here we shall be requiring a method of delete story so i'll say delete story so under case of delete story here it will be having a entity name to be story itself and also story entity and here i'll do i'll say story dot story id will be equal to the story id that user will be uh, pasting here what i'll do i'll copy the story id paste it here and also paste it here and also over here this thing is referring that this dot query builder from the collection of story delete the data from story entity where the id of the story id is equal to the story id that user will be providing to us and when this thing is done if the data is affected it is if it is greater than zero send a response of 204 else 401 so here i'll say story is deleted and here i'll say yes you guessed it right story is not deleted right and everything will be normal right now after this thing we also need to fetch the stories so here let's have a new method for fetching the stories so i'll say fetch story it will be requiring a request or response so it is better to copy this piece of line so here i'll say a method of fetch stories just like this and for fetching the stories under this case we'll be fetching all the stories that are available so what i'll do i'll say uh, let stories will be equal to under await state for like uh, await for this dot create query builder from the entity of story will be uh, selecting all of the data and here we are will be simply also linking the user so i'll say left join and select so i'll say uh, you uh, like story dot the uh, foreign key so the, if you observe the foreign key is story user so i'll say story user and also the table of users right if it is a user or users it is users so it will be having here a users right so we can add a select phrase under here and then we can simply say get many right get all the stories right so this will be getting all of the stories what i'll do i'll say if stories is not equal to undefined either if there is some data i'll say return response dot send i'll send some response back so i'll say response dot send and under this case i'll send a code of 200 that is everything is okay and some data data will be nothing but our entire stories right so this will be it for now and also we will be getting some errors so what i'll do i'll return some different response right so here i'll say uh, if error if error exists first of all we shall be console logging the error and after that i will be sending this response so under this response i'll say 401 and the error to be something went wrong we should never show the entire error to the user right so this should be our entire thing for fetching the stories as well now what we need to do we also need to fetch the story based on the particular user what i'll do i'll be creating here a new method for fetching the story based on the user so for that purpose i'll say fetch story by user right you can have any sort of meta name i'm giving it a by user what i'll do first of all we need to take the user email so for that purpose we shall be uh, taking help from the parameters so i'll say let user email should be equal to uh request dot params right we will be getting the following user email from our parameters and here i'll be adding a try catch block so on the try block first of all we need to simply lead a new query so i'll say let story is equal to await 
this dot query builder and under this i'll say the story uh, collection and under this i'll left join and select first so i'll say uh, left join and select under left join and select we can add this piece of line to save our time it is rhyming so here i'll say select all the data and here i'll say where users dot user email is equal to the user email that the user has entered under the parameters which will be his current user email right so here i'll say user email right and after this thing is done i'll say get many because the user can have multiple stories right so this should be it for now for story and now we'll be sending some response so i'll copy the same response from this side and paste it here but here in this case it will be a story instead of stories right we'll be also getting some errors so let's catch the errors and send this response right so this should be it for now and what i'll do i'll be also creating one more method for fetching the all the stories of not the user so i'll say fetch story of other people i know i'm bad at naming things but you can have any sort of method name to it right so i'll say where the user email is not equal to the user email right get all the stories where the user email is not equal to the user email of the logged user right and once this thing is done i will be getting all of the data right easy thing so now once this our entire backend is done we need to also add some controllers right so here i'll be getting a new controller for story dot controller dot ts right so i'll copy the controller and paste it here it will be having a different name obviously right so it will be having a name of story controller it will be having a repo of story repo right so here i'll be having a different name to it of a story repo for a story repo and the method name will be different it will be add story right we have guessed a wrong name so it will be add story right it will be add story for a request and a response now we can add the same method name here now what i'll do i'll copy the method entire thing and paste it for five times because we have five different methods so i'll say fetch story first of all for all the users and fetch story by user and also fetch story of other people who is not logged i'll get that data back and also a last method for deleting the stories all right uh, it should be deleted story of a request and response having the same method name right so our entire repo is completed now we have to add a new routes so what i'll do under routes folder i will be getting a new route so i'll say story.routes.ts right so let's copy the boilerplate route add it here same old thing i'll be adding a story router also it will be having a story router now what i'll do i'll be creating different routes here so first of all let's add a route for adding the stories now if you observe under story repo we'll be requiring user email as our parameter so what i'll do under story routes it is already here so i'll say story controller dot add story right after that we'll be having this fetch uh, story thing so i'll say uh, story controller dot fetch story now we'll be also requiring different uh, method here so here i'll say story slash the user email and it will be having here uh, story controller dot fetch story by user and also i'll say a new route here which will be story slash other other than the user email so here i'll say fetch story of other people also for deleting this thing i'll be requiring a story id and it will be a story controller dot delete story right now once this thing is done i need to add this route under my app.ts file so i'll be creating here a new route for story route right so i'll copy the same piece of line add it here it will be having a base path to be story also a story router so this should be it, our entire thing for stories so let's test it out before testing it out let's go under orm config and add it here so i'll say story uh, entity just like this uh, so let's try it out now let's stop our current running server let's clear everything and yeah so here i'll say npm run dev if everything works right all right so everything is working so now let's test it out over our postman so i'll say a postman thing to be localhost it will be story slash add for now uh, it will be requiring some body under raw for json so here i'll be adding some json first of all a uh, user email all right user emails i'll be adding require here so i'll say the user email that i have created which is ramesh at gmail.com all right so here it will be having some story assets only so i'll say story underscore assets 
it will be a list of assets for now it will be having some empty value that is mock value so let's send a post request all right so now you can see i am getting a code of 201 which means added to be true so now let's paste some stories let's save it out i'll be getting a new collection of the social uh, yt youtube version let's clear it out and here i'll be getting a folder of story i'll be saving my story here so i'll say add story right so i'll copy the same path and paste it here but instead of add i can say user slash ramesh at gmail.com it will be giving us the user that is the stories of ramesh so let's send a request now you can see i will be getting this data back easy so now if i remove the user from this side and if i send a request i will be getting nothing uh okay or it will don't require this thing only home path and i will be getting all of the stories that are available under my database right so it will be for fetch stories so i'll say fetch story right so i am getting this story back so now let's try to delete it now i know the story id is one so i'll copy this stuff and i'll say delete I guess there is a path and one. So let's send a delete request. First of all, let's check whether we are adding here a delete request or not. So let's go to story routes. Yeah, it is a delete one. So let's test it out. So let's send a delete request. Now you can see story deleted. Now if I try to fetch it, I will be getting null value. Right. So this means that we have successfully added our backend. And if I try to delete it one more time, I will be getting story is not deleted because it is already deleted right so this is the entire backend that we'll be using for stories i hope you have loved this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll be fetching the stories and showing on our application goodbye